this is a sun, and this is a planet, and this is called a transit, and that's all you need to know in order to play the minigame, which looks like this. First of all we have the luminosity, which is based around 100% up and down of course, so a dip in the luminosity might indicate uh, the transit of a planet. The detrend feature is a useful one because it filters out uh, the normal solar activity of a star, so if you press it you see that it aligns a bit more. Now in order to mark a transit you look for the dip, and for the second time there is a dip or how many times the planet is transiting. Then you look at these lines and try to get them a bit sharper by scrolling with the wheel like this. You press confirm and submit. And that is the basic of Project Discovery in its new form. First, after that you get your rewards, which is based around your accuracy, which is just reset because I'm on singularity here. And you get your rank, and based on your rank you can get goodies, like apparel or the uh, Concord ships or skins for it or the cruiser and even more apparel now let's then do another sample here we have a single transit or so it looks like which is a bit longer than the, the uh, previous one almost half a day you can see that time scale here again I press D-trend in order to get the most accurate midpoint of the transit now I think there's only one transit here, so um, I can't set a marker anywhere else, so I just press another time at the same point, and you see that it adds um, in the visualization here a slow moving planet because we don't know what a transit time is. Let's see if it's correct. There we go. And it's the uh, speed bar keeps moving here and you get a high escape based on your accuracy, rounded up I should say. Uh, this is a bit more tricky one as you can see, again there's definitely one here, and there's something happening there and maybe there, so let's uh, dive into it and see what we can do. I will stake the midpoint of the valley when uh, classifying these. Now let's see if it's uh, I think it's around here. Let's press fold. Okay, what you're looking for is a general pattern in the uh, folded luminosity, and not uh, you're not looking for spikes or anything like that. So let's see. There's a bit of a valley here at this point. Let's get it a bit accurate in the middle. Confirm. Now, besides this normal transit, we also have a peak transit here, which I'm also going to mark. Let's see if we're right here. Okay, so the uh, first one that I marked was correct, and the other was uh, an anomaly, apparently. Let's look a bit uh, closer. Maybe this uh, is a bit too sharp. You're always looking for a general movement instead of uh, a spike in terms of luminosity, which is important to keep in mind. So here we have a more difficult sample than the previous ones. Um, first one that is striking here is uh, the spikes in terms of luminosity, which uh, go up over time. Um, to filter these out, we use the D-trend feature, as I uh, mentioned before. Now this spike that we see here doesn't necessarily have to be a transit even though we have detrended the uh, solar activity pattern there uh, actually you have to look for light tips that are similar in valley types so these two uh, hikes in terms of luminosity um, can intersect with a transit but don't have to so I'm actually going for this one and this one because they are are more similar and overlap with that one and that one. Now let's see what happens if we uh, overlap them a bit. And there you can see if I move it around in the middle there's a sort of a valley which we're trying to uh, find right there. Like 
that, sort of. And let's uh, submit it. There you go. So this is a, um, a good example that shows that you don't have to go for the uh, spikes that you see as so much that you have to go for um, valleys in terms of luminosity and a pattern that when you overlay it has a similar structure and not just the spikes. So that's uh, a tip to keep in mind. Here we have an even uh, harder example of uh, a luminosity pattern where it is quite difficult to uh, make out the transit. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, this definitely here is a transit going on. The question is always how fast are the transits? Um, in this case I see a similar pattern right here. Um, and if you look a bit uh, more down at the um, more zoomed out variant, you can see that the blue line sort of overlaps with a few other uh, dips. So I have a good feeling that this might be uh, a transit. So let's overlap them a bit. And as you can see, there's a small pattern going on here. There's a dip here. So now we all have, have to do is to align it correctly in order to find the uh, pattern and as you can see it's very vague here but you can see this valley going on around here let's centralize it a bit I have a good feeling that this is about as sharp as I'm going to get it yeah right there let's see if I was uh, <laughs> right actually And there you go. Yeah. So as you can see, um, they can get quite tricky, but it's all about getting this little valley, sometimes a W uh, type of form that you're looking for. It's not always as clear as a simple uh, um, spiky valley where you can just press it and be done with it. It's actually quite uh, challenging this uh, this way around. So now that you have a bit of an uh, understanding of what you should look for. Uh, this is an example of what you shouldn't do. That is mark these uh, kind of spikes as you see here. Um, in this case, let me zoom in on it. 73% uh, of the people have uh, selected this single spike as a transit, but um, it's not that quick that a planet transits in front of the sun. It's one single data point, um, such a valley. So it's almost always better an idea of trying to find a W form or a, a, a U-shaped form, because a single spike is often not a transit, so be on the lookout for that. And with that, I uh, wish you good luck uh, finding the samples, and uh, hit us up in uh, the Project Discovery channel and discuss the samples that you're uh, struggling with. It's not as hard as the previous iteration, I think, as long as you get the patterns down. Um, but learning those patterns can be quite a challenge, I think. <laughs> Have a nice day.